just got an update from Councilmember Leticia Plummer. She left that budget meeting and came down here to address this crowd. This crowd here wanting to see reforms within the police department. Councilmember Plummer was offering some reforms to put in place in the budget process happening right now. Ultimately, all of her reforms were voted down. They were sent to a committee. They will not uh, be going in this budget process, at least not for now. It's not what the crowd out here wanted to hear, but that's ultimately what took place inside City Council just a few moments ago. With the echo of George Floyd's name bouncing off City Hall, hundreds of protesters turned out with one goal, stopping City Council from approving the city budget so financial cuts could be made to the Houston Police Department. Not only need to defund the police, we need to abolish practices and, uh, and habits of the police department in, in so far as even abolishing the police. That's the goal. Ashton P. Woods does not believe HPD will be defunded right now, but like many in this crowd, he wants to take steps toward that ultimate goal. We're going to do what we can to make sure we change as much policy and how budgets are being spent as possible while we have the chance. The first step, according to these protesters, is delaying the vote on the city budget. Councilmember Leticia Plummer is asking that $11 million earmarked for HPD be used for other purposes. The money would come from eliminating 199 unfilled vacancies in the department. Plummer wants to see the money used in part to start an independent citizen review board with the power to investigate police misconduct. Those outside City Hall say it's time the reforms come to HPD. I'd like to see the budget delayed until our city council can listen to every single voice because it's our money that they're using and we have a say in how they use it. For many here, the call to defund the police is personal. Manji Thomas immigrated from South Africa and is disturbed by what she claims is happening with American law enforcement. And I'm heartbroken because this is, this is not the America that I thought I would be facing in 2020. So something needs to change. But again, Councilmember Leticia Plummer notifying this crowd just moments ago that all of her amendments have been shot down. They will not be included in the budget, at least not now. What the mayor said was he supports many of what many ideas that the Councilmember Plummer has, but he says that the appropriate place to do that is to, be, to refer these to committee, get it all fleshed out, then bring it back in front of city council. He also made the point by saying just because the city votes on the budget today doesn't mean it can't be amended earlier, doesn't mean it can't come back. And of course, the folks in the crowd here wanted to see these things happen today. It will not happen today.